Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we're going to unbox an Arduino Advanced Starter Kit and see what items are included inside. Let's go! So you just bought your very first Arduino kit because you got curious and amazed about all the stuff that it can do. You're excited to make stuff but a little bit intimidated and don't know what to make first because you don't have the knowledge about programming or coding and circuits or electronics. Don't get discouraged though. There are tons of free guides and tutorials for beginners online. You just have to pick one. From Forefront.io, Instructables, Makerspaces, Hackster, Tinkercad, and a lot more. My favorite website is Circuito because like Tinkercad, it lets you select your components and make the codes for you that you can upload, edit, and use. But with Circuito, it automatically handles the wiring and adds other components or modules to the circuit, if any, to make your desired circuit function so you won't get confused. More on that later. If you saw the video earlier on the intro, I'm going to show you how I did it. Bear in mind, I'm an Arduino like you. But first, we need to check all the modules and components and things that are included on our kit. It says here that my kit have the following things. One high quality hard case. One components introduction paper or list of things inside with the names and pictures. One Arduino Uno R3 board clone. One USB cable. One 16x2 LCD screen with I2C LCD backpack. One RC522 RFID module, one RFID card, two mail pin headers, one RFID key, one joystick module, one 8 pin 4x4 button keypad, one RTC module, one water level sensor, one humidity sensor, one RGB module, one motor driver module, one step motor, one relay module, one breadboard, 65 pieces mail to mail jumper cables with various lengths. 16 pieces are the longer ones and 49 pieces are the shorter ones. 7 reds, 7 blacks, 7 oranges, 7 yellows, 7 whites, 7 greens, and 7 blues. 10 pieces female to male jumper cables plus the 3 free ones. 1 sound sensor module, 1 IR remote, 1 10k potentiometer, 1 10 pin single digit digital tube, 1 12 pin 4 digit digital tube, one 24-pin 8x8 LED matrix, one 9G servo, two buzzer speakers, two pieces ball switches, three pieces photo resistors, five pieces switches with caps, one 9-volt battery to DC jack, 15 pieces LED bulbs, one flame or fire sensor, one IR receiver sensor, one 16-pin 74HC595 IC dip, one LM35DZ temperature sensor and 30 pieces of resistors, 220, 1K, and 10K ohms with 10 pieces each. Okay, now that we have checked and familiarized ourselves with the item names and what they look like, let's download the Arduino IDE software and extract or install it on our computer. We can either download it from the Microsoft Store which is directly linked on the Arduino website or from another website. Now it's time to design our very first circuit. It goes without saying that we need to select our Arduino board first. So, okay, here we go. Let's drag and drop the board here. Search for the 16x2 LCD screen. Drag and drop here. And there you go. Pretty easy, right? It's all wired up. Now, we can either just copy the wiring that we see or go to the step-by-step -step wiring process. I will choose the step-by-step -step process. Okay, let's click on the project guide tab. Then click go to project guide. Click go to wiring. Alrighty, let's place the board here. And the LCD screen right here. Now let's connect the Arduino to the LCD screen. It says here that we need to connect the LCD ground to the first Arduino ground. Then connect the fourth pin or SEL pin to the A5 in the Arduino. Then 
the A4 from the Arduino to the SDA pin of the LCD. Then, the VCC of the LCD to the 5 volts of the Arduino. And that's it. Now, let's download the codes and unzip it. Then, open up the Arduino IDE software. Click File, Open. Let's find the name of the folder we just downloaded. Here it is. Click the firmware.ino. Then, click on Tools, Serial Monitor. Click the check symbol to verify the code. Then the right arrow button beside it to upload it to our board. Find the serial monitor window, press 1. And there you go. You printed what's on the code to the LCD. Isn't that amazing? Now time to customize it a little bit. First, I'm going to add a new line to print on just the first row of the LCD that will appear after the first message. Just copy and paste the code and edit what's inside the quotations like this. Then add some delay after each message. Remember though, the LCD is 16 by 2 which means it has 16 characters and 2 rows. So if you want to display a word that is less than 16 characters, you need to add some space on the sides to center it. After editing the code a little bit, click the check symbol to verify and compile the sketch. Then click the right arrow to upload it to our board. Find the serial monitor window again, press 1. Ta-da! Well, it's basically trial and error if you have limited knowledge, but it's okay. You can also edit the time of the delay. 1000 equals 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. When you're happy with the results, it's time to move on and use another module. So yeah, that's all for now. I might upload another Arduino related video once I think of something that I can possibly do.